Patrice, I asked you a question. What is going on here? Why is no one answering me? Eve, what did you mean when you said I was going to go crazy? Go crazy about what? I I'm sorry, Gwen. I, I didn't even notice you were there. Obviously. Didn't I tell you you can't trust the little bitch? She's up to something again, as usual. Oh, and even Pilar isn't jumping in to defend her little Miha. Must be serious. So it is it, Teresa. What are you planning to do this time to hurt my daughter? Please, Dr. Russell, please run the DNA test so I can find out if one of these babies is mine. And if it is, I want Gwen's baby sacrificed to save it. Teresa, you need to answer me. What am I gonna go so crazy about? I want an answer, Teresa. Yes, Teresa. What have you dreamed up this time to drive my daughter mad? What? Actually... It's easy, okay? Dr. Russell and I, we were talking about, about you and how desperate you are to have a baby. And uh, I, I said that I was concerned about how you would feel, you know, if the procedure wasn't successful because it's not 100% foolproof, right, Dr. Russell? No procedure is. Right. There are risks, okay? But I'm willing to take them. But I think that you need to be aware of them, too. See, Dr. Russell said, Gwen, that there's, there's no guarantees. And if that happened, I know you would be very, very upset. And that's what Dr. Russell was saying when she said that, that you would just go crazy. Liar. Look, Gwen, I'm not saying that we shouldn't take the risk. Okay, I'm not saying that we shouldn't do everything we can to make sure one of these babies survives. We should. I mean, we have to. But... As a mother myself, Gwen, I know how hard it's going to be for you to lose even one of these babies. And, and I can't imagine how you would feel if despite this procedure, you lost both of them. Well, I appreciate your concern. I mean, honestly, I'm really touched that you would even think about me during a time like this. So, you're, uh, just worried about Gwen? Well, and the babies, of course. But yes, I'm worried about Gwen, too. Since when? When have you given a damn about Gwen? You don't care about anyone but yourself. I believe her, okay? Just stop. Well, then you are a fool. I told Gwen the truth, Rebecca. You have never told the truth a day in your life. Oh. But now, Eve... On the other hand, you see, she has a reputation to think of. Well, at least what's left of it after the information we found out about her past. But, uh, Eve, you are a doctor. And even though you may not have any personal ethics, you do have to have professional ones. And you have to tell me the truth. So spill it, Eve. What's going on here? What is Teresa up to this time? What is the little alley cat up to this time? I have nothing to add to Teresa's explanation. Nothing to add? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, it sounds like you're running for office. You asked me a question, Rebecca. I answered it. But what is this? One slut defending another? Would you please not talk to Dr. Russell like that? <gasps> okay, she has been very, very kind to Ethan and me throughout this whole ordeal, and she's doing everything she can to save one of these babies. She would never be party to anything that would hurt me. Excuse me, she is also sleeping with my husband. That oh, has God. nothing to do with the situation here, Rebecca. I suggest you keep your personal feelings about her and Teresa out of this, okay? The most important thing right now is that Teresa has this procedure. Teresa, you're still planning to have the procedure, right? You haven't changed your mind. No, I haven't changed my mind. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to save one of these babies. Okay, then. 
All right, then we have nothing to worry about. Everything is going as planned. Come on. Come on. Teresa, please, you can't go through with this. Gwen and Rebecca know something is going on. They're going to find out that Eve is running these DNA tests, and when they do, they'll figure out why. No, Mama, they're not going to find out. Mira, Teresa, you better pray to the Virgin that they don't, because if they do, they'll kill you. You know, whispering in front of other people is not only extremely rude, but it makes them wonder what you're being so secretive about. is up to something, Gwen. It's written all over her scheming little face. And Eve and Pilar are in cahoots with her. Please start making a difficult situation worse. Well, I, I, I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, try being positive. Try praying that one of my babies survives, okay? It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna work out. They're gonna save one of the babies. It's gonna be wonderful, okay? It'll work out. Come on. Oh, Go and get some rest at the mansion. You just look exhausted. I can't rest thinking about what Teresa's doing. This tension, it only exacerbates your condition. Mom, please go home, get some rest. I'm gonna be fine. I'm not so sure, Mija. Thinking what you're doing. Please, I know how hard this is for you. I know that you don't approve of what I'm doing, but I know that you love me because I'm your daughter, Mama. That means everything to me. It's not too late, Mija, you know, to change your mind. It's not too late to realize that what you're doing is wrong. Just tell the truth. Just do the right thing. Mama, this is the right thing. I just pray that Gwen and Rebecca don't find out that you're having Eve run DNA tests so that the baby you save is yours, and not Gwen's. Mama, they're not gonna find out, I promise, okay? Don't worry. Just please go home and you get some rest. Fine. The prayers are with you, Mia. Come on, Pilar, let me walk you out. I love you, Mama. This is an STD test. You're gonna give this to Teresa? You think this little slut here has a sexually transmitted disease? Hey, what? Of course not. I, I'm sorry, Dr. Russell. I must have grabbed the wrong packet. I'll be right back. You, you're, you're performing more tests? Dr. Russell, is something else wrong with the babies? No. No, not at all. No, I, w I just wanted Dr. Russell to run as many tests as possible. Because I want to make sure one of these babies survives to term. You know, I'm, I'm going against the church to have this procedure done, so I want to make sure it's successful. Well, it will be. I can feel it. I only wish that we could save both these babies, Gwen. Well, I do too, you know, but... But we, we can't, and I am always going to grieve for the one that we lose. But at least I'll be able to have one biological child. And for that, Teresa, I am forever grateful to you for what you're doing. Oh, Gwen, please, you aren't really buying this selfless act, are you? I don't want to hear any more of it, okay? We need to, uh, to let Teresa have some time alone to rest. You have to take good care of her, okay, and of, and of my child? Mother, let's go. gets back. Will you have her run the DNA test, please? Teresa, you don't want to do this thing. Not this way. Think about what your mother said. Dr. Russell, you said that in order to let one of these babies survive, I have to sacrifice the other. Yes, but that's not what you're doing. They left me no choice. If Ethan and Gwen want to sacrifice one baby so that the other baby lives, that's fine. Just as long as my baby is the one that lives. Dr. Russell, 
your mother. You know how I feel. I'm just doing everything that I can to protect my child. Please, Dr. Russell. You have to be absolutely certain when you run the DNA test so you know which baby to save. Teresa, I know what I have to do. But what you're doing is morally reprehensible. But it's my body, Dr. Oh. Russell. It's my choice. What, to test the babies? So that you can see which one is Gwen and Ethan's and which one is yours with Ethan? So you can save yours? Oh, God. How could you?